The New York Jets beat the Buffalo Bills today by a score of 20-17 to in a game that no one was giving them a shot. The Jets were 10.5 point dogs going into today's game, however they found a way to get it done. They played fantastic all game and that started off on the Bills opening drive when Jordan Whitehead intercepted Josh Allen. However, after that, it felt like the Bills were going to start to roll. The Bills scored two touchdowns to just a Jets field goal. However, right before halftime, the Jets put together a methodical drive that was capped off by a six-yard Michael Carter touchdown rush. Here's what Carter had to say about the game today. Quarterback made great decisions. Made throws when he had to make them. Guys up front, they were blocking their butt off. Guys on the outside were blocking their butt off and making the catches when they had to. Um, really good special teams today. Immediately following the Carter touchdown, the Bills got the ball back with 30 seconds left. They drove down the field and got in the field goal range and missed it. That three points would wind up being the difference in today's game. The Jets opened the second half with a very strong drive. However, a strange issue with the sky cam led to a long delay. After the delay, Zach Wilson was strip sacked, but two plays later, rookie cornerback Sauce Gardner picked off Josh Allen that led to a James Robinson touchdown reception. Here's what Gardner had to say about his pick. Uh, we was in a, in a cover two concept, you know, to my side. And, um, you know, the receiver got outside of me and they had a running back that sat in front of me, a running back or a receiver, I don't know. And um, I just, I, I felt like I had a feel for Josh Allen and the throws he liked to make. So, you know, I just was taking away the uh, throw to the running back and I was trying to time it up to, make the play uh, in the whole shot. But, you know, defense, we got to be the ones to say, let's get the ball right back. You know, why not us? I feel like uh, that was a perfect time, perfect, perfect situation for me to do that. The next drive, the Bills knotted the game up at 17. And after a couple of punts, the Jets drove down the field and kicked the field goal that would wind up being the final points of the game. On that drive, the play of the game came from a 12-yard first down reception from Denzel Mims. Here's what Mims had to say about the catch. It means a lot. Um, it lets me know that they trust me. It lets me know that they trust me. And um, they come down to push a moment. They came to me, so it makes me happy. The defense stood strong on the Bills' last possession, strip sacking Josh Allen for a huge loss and forcing a turnover on downs. The Jets were awesome today and played like a team that can beat anyone in the league. They picked off Josh Allen twice to go along with two strip sacks. They also got back to Josh Allen for five sacks today. They played a very strong game of team football. Quarterback Zach Wilson stepped up in a big way after a rough week last week. Here's what Wilson had to say about the game today. But what a huge team win. I think the guys came out, balled out. Um, you saw what our defense did, getting the takeaways. Not only, you know, I get the strip sack right there and, you know, it sucks. We had points. They come back out, get another turnover for us. Huge plays by those guys. And then, uh, you know, uh, showing up at the run game there on that last drive, just pounding those guys all the way down the field is huge as well. So uh, excited for all, for all three phases. Really cool. Wilson finished his day with 154 passing yards and a touchdown. Rookie wide receiver Garrett Wilson continues to shine with his eight receptions for 92 yards today. Here's what Wilson had to say. Yeah, I mean, anytime we can get a win in the division is huge. But, um, you know, I'll be lying if I said Buffalo, we didn't have, you know, um, Something for him. We wanted, to, we wanted to come up and prove something this week. And um, we did that, and uh, it was a big win, huge win for us. On the defensive side, the Jets were led by Sauce Gardner, who had seven tackles to go along with his interception. They also had four different players record a sack to go along with the half a sack each from Sherwood and Alexander. The Jets gain a lot of momentum heading into the bye week. This propels them to 6-3 and three and only half a game back from the Bills in the AFC East. Following the bye week, the Jets will get a second shot at the Patriots in Foxborough. For WFUV Sports, I'm Danny Scott.